close your eyes, place your hands in your lap, and focus on your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. The breath is an anchor right here in the present moment. When you're with the breath, you know you're here. When you're here, you can see things a lot more clearly. You're not traveling around in made-up worlds about the past and the future. You're watching what's going on in the body and the mind right now. For the time being, though, pay most of your attention to the body, the breath. What does the breath feel like? Does it feel good? You might want to test that. Try breathing a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter. Keep adjusting the breath until you find something that feels really good, and then stick with that. If nothing seems outstanding, well, focus on the breath that seems okay and give it a chance to develop into something more than okay. That way the meditation is not just a matter of forcing yourself to stay in the present moment, but you're actually exploring the present moment, because that's what it's all about. It's not the Buddha is trying to force you to see things in a certain way. He says if he gives you the tools for looking at yourself so you can figure out where you're causing yourself unnecessary suffering. And start with something simple like the breath. As he says, when you breathe in ignorance, in other words, you're not really paying attention to the breath, the breath can get very strange, and it can be a cause for suffering, a cause for stress, a cause for dis-ease in the body. And from dis-ease it goes to disease. Different parts of the body are not getting enough breath energy and the circulation isn't getting out there. They're going to have trouble. So try to pay attention to the breath energy in the body, how it feels when you breathe in, how it feels when you breathe out. When it feels good, think of that good feeling just spreading through the whole body, so the whole body feels nourished. That way you make it a lot easier to stay in the present moment as you're learning something about the body. And in the meantime, you're also learning something about the mind, that you can create a sense of well-being right here, right now, without all that much having to be arranged this way or arranged that way. All you need is a quiet place, a lack of disturbance for a while, and you can create a sense of well-being. And as you get better with this, then you realize you don't really need that quiet place. You can create that sense of well-being then, too. Even if it's not quiet, even when there's disturbance, you want to be able to tap into the sense of healthy breath energy in the body, because that's when you need it, especially when things are disturbing. But to begin with, it's good to start in a quiet place like this where you have no other responsibilities. You have just this time right here, right now. These are the tools that you can use to, to explore yourself, to understand why the mind creates suffering for itself even though it doesn't want to. You develop mindfulness. You develop alertness. Mindfulness keeps things in mind. Alertness watches to see what's going on. And then you develop a quality called ardency, which you really try to do it well. Really try to be sensitive to the breath, really try to be sensitive to the mind. And these are the qualities that turn this bunch of tools into a skill. So you can catch the mind as it's thinking in ways and f feeling in ways and perceiving things in ways that are going to be harmful. You can catch it in time and then stop it. You can direct it in other directions. But you have to be right here in the present moment to do this, so you, because you, only here can you really watch the mind, see what it's doing. So take some time to just stay right here. Any thoughts that go wandering out, just let them wander. You don't have to go with them. You stay right here, and you'll find that they'll disappear. And this way you learn an awful lot about the body and the mind, and you find that you have friends here in the present moment. You've got tools here in the present moment that you can use to help put an end to that habit of creating stress and suffering when you don't want to. Because the more knowledge you bring to what's going on right here, the less you'll be forced to do things that you don't want to. It's because of our ignorance that we make all these wrong moves. When you bring knowledge to the present moment, okay, that's how you get rid of the wrong moves, how you get rid of the wrong intentions, the wrong ideas, all the wrong activities in the mind. So take advantage of these tools, because they're here all the time. It's just a question of whether you're going to make use of them all the time. 